So, in the last video, we made some terrain, and we didn't paint it. Now let's learn how to paint that terrain in the nice gothic rusted look that we know and love of Warhammer 40,000. So, we did this in our last area video, and we wanted to go over what we needed to get done. And now that we've sort of got finding out or what's happening, with this, we can work out what colours need to be implemented into our terrain. So firstly, we now know that brown needs to go on this little piece of wood, and as well, over here, this tree trunk. Um, we then know that we need to dry brush two different layers of a light grey and a dark grey, and maybe add some black to the parts that didn't get the spray paint onto. And that'll just be a dry brush over all the rocky segments. Um, we then know that we, for the helmet, helmets, barbed wire, so sorry, put that there, barbed wire, and I'll pop you up for a second. All the armor, we need to add in nice little, nice little tones of lead vulture and Talazarian blue. There. We now know as well, we need to pick Zandri dust here, and some more lead vulture, over to the corrugated plastic, not plastic, paper. Don't want to forget that, I use it as my chanting word. Um, and lastly, for that server skull, we need to get that sorted, so that's just actually just, it looks like a server skull, but it isn't one. And that, that's rifle, right there, we need to get that sorted out. And those colours, that will be a creamy Zandri dust, with the layering, of course, of the creamy Zandri dust and the Zandri dust, with a Rakash Earth Shade. If you want to know how I do skulls, I have got a perfect video for you. If you just go into my channel, I will link it as well inside of this description, but there's a small video telling you how to paint the grim dark skulls. So we got two, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, five skulls, I don't know where I got that sixth one, but five, oh, one down, there's another skull down here, but there's six skulls we need to paint up, and as well that last rifle. Every single part I will not show you what I'm doing, but I will take a f video of it, and then cut over to that. We're going to probably do the metal second, because there's so much that the metal goes around, and I must tell you, don't care if you get it on there, we're flocking over that, and we don't need to care about it. So, let's quickly get into that painting stage. You may see the lighting change, because I'm painting this on Thursday, and I'm going on holiday for this weekend, and getting back on Monday, and I'll probably carry on the video Monday or Tuesday. So I'll see you all in a second. Hello again, it's Terratrix Wargaming, and it's been quite a long time um, since I actually did some recording. I've been bugged down with a bunch of work to do. So I'm sorry about there being a week delay, I'm right now trying to upload around, well, make two videos right now, so hopefully those will come out soon. Um, you might be able to see hear someone cutting down a tree. Now I can't go over and tell them to stop cutting down a tree, because it's not on my property or anything like that. So, you've got some nice sound of trees being cut down. Um, let me quickly take you to this. So I said I would upload um, clips of me doing it, but I got so irritated with contrast paints. I hate contrast paints. They work really well, I just really hate them. <laughs> Look here. So, what I worked on, if you can see, I've done rocks. I've done all those rocky areas up, which are really nice, I think, how they're working out. Did that tree. Got skulls made. Which look what we got. All of that done with the corrugated cardboard to create that really nice look. Now I turn it around. You've got the other dead guy, Alpha Legion guy, and this Alpha Legion guy. Now this guy has taken the longest out of any miniature I've probably ever painted because of contrast paint. Just wanting to kill me with it. So it might not show that well up here, 
but it's, it's pretty ugly. Um, <laughs> we've got a little skull pile here, if I haven't pointed out, and there's another poem, Alpha Legion helmet there, with guns. And the last sandbags, which are right now still drying. So what do we do now after... That's everything for you guys. Um, what do we do now that we have finished with the painting of it? We'll now flock it. Now you can see I've put all this brown and stuff on the floor. I've got that chaos symbol there. I've got all these signs saying death, blood, and the corn symbol. That's hidden away by him. But to what we'll do with the symbols on the floor, like this, we'll flock only around it, not on top of it. Just because we want to have that um, create a three-dimensional look bursting out of the ground. Now, I'll quickly get over to when it's finished flocking. Okay, so we'll now move over to the next bit of this, and that is doing a PVA. Now, I'll quickly show you the PVA. I've got, so I've got a giant big one, and that's not going to run out for a long time. I'll just open that up. And this is how I do my PVA for terrain. Is I'll get it in. So that's enough to last me about three terrain boards. I'll quickly go over it. Because the amount of watering down you put in, because you don't want it that splodgy. There you go if you want to see how much there is. Now what we do is I get about a whole paint pot to it of just water. There. And you don't care if there's little chunks, because... Who really cares about that? You can see it's murky water, because that's my paint water. I'll just put that there for now. Sorry if it's a bit wiggly, I am extraordinarily sorry for that. Now you just get an old paintbrush, and you just get it on top, and you just keep on doing this. Until you've created a paste. If it's too watery for your liking, always go back over and add more PVA to it. Just constantly add PVA. I should probably move this away. Constantly add PVA to it. And over time, it will become a nice, nice mix. So I'll just keep on doing that. The bubbles, you don't need to really care about that much. But that's all you need to really care about right now. Um, after I finish mixing it all together, that'll be about three minutes. Oh, do this to you so it's better. That'll be about three minutes. And then after that, um, I will skip over to the video of me actually now basing it. So that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? See you in a minute. Now that we have made our nice little broth, I added some browns into it just because it would look quite nicer to be on the floor as a paler colour rather than being a white. So we just get our paintbrush and we just go over. You don't need to really care about how bad you are with this, but if you just put it over to where I'm painting it on, you don't need to care about brush marks. <laughs> so that's the joys in this one way of doing it. No brush marks are cared about. You just do stuff like that. I'll skip over to when it's done, because it's easier to do it without a camera right in front of it. But you just do that, and then we'll get over to that next stage, okay? Well, now it just looks really snowy. <laughs> so... We now quickly go over and use our own flock. If you don't know how to make flock, it's not the flock flock that you guys probably know. My one's completely different. Mine's just like sand and gr yellows and other colours just mixed together to make this. So that's a bit. We're just some other types. I'm sorry the sun's glaring here. I'll put my hand over, but it won't do much because I'm in an area where there's just sun comes in, sun doesn't come in. For once, England has sun. So we just go over with our flock. You're going to probably use up a lot if you've done it yeah, at this scale. But you just go over that whole thing with flock. Like this. Now, you don't, you don't want to try and make it all go off the edges. It's alright if it does. Just as, like... You want to reuse your flock. <laughs> so you see, we're quickly going over into all these... Nuts and crannies, if that's a crap word I could be using. <laughs> but as it's just a nice piece of terrain, and I don't think you would take much harm if you get it a teeny bit incorrectly done. But what this does is just fix up all those errors you've done when you've been painting it. Okay. 
So you can see it's quite flocky. And it looks rather ugly when it's this flocky. New word, flocky, has now been added to the dictionary. I'm going to move you back up a bit. So what you do is you get your flock that you use, you get this put above, and you just do that. And you just release all the flock onto, 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 on top of it. So I was stuttering there. And now you put your finger where there's some areas which you want to keep like that. So that. You just keep on doing that until you get your final product, which will hopefully look really nice. Now I'm going to quickly just finish off all my basing. Some areas it's just not going to go where you want it to go, and you can't. Usually it's really difficult to stop that. Oh, there we go. The sun's now gone. It's being England, finally. So it's about our last area we have left. Nope, nope. we got here as well, which is going to be quite difficult to put us in. So we're just going to chuck it at it, and just chuck it at it. And just chuck it at it. <laughs> now it will be stuck in like skulls, it get, and some parts it will just get stuck into. You hope it doesn't. <laughs> but that hope will always fail. Quickly do the same thing as last time, and we'll just do this. And now we put it upside down, and hope it covers it all. Just keep them shaking it up and down, 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 up and down. And then you got it. Your terrain piece right now. Just washing it all off my hands. Now, you want quite clean hands for the next bit, because you'll blow, well, you're blowing on it right now, but if you can see parts where you don't want it to be, just put your finger on, and that flock will go. So, see flock there? Don't want it there. On the branches, I don't care exactly that much if there's flock on it, but... Still, it's quite nice to take it away. That chainsaw is getting eerie loud, louder. It's going to try and kill me in a minute, isn't it? <laughs> um, so that's basically how you do this. Now, what you can add on is different parts of foliage. So, static grass, or just like things like this. And you just put it on like here. What that does is create a nicer look for your terrain. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um... It's been really nice actually having you guys be here. Um, as well, please, if you like my content, subscribe and like the video. I probably save us quite a lot, but it's, it, is, it really does help that stuff. That chainsaw is really irritating. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and as well, if you like this content, please follow my friends, both for Weather Pig and Spect. Bye bye. This is Terratrix Wargaming out.